One thing that does not is not supported is AUG format. You're probably going, AUG? What's AUG? <laughs> well, AUG is, a, is a, a lot of videos out on the internet that are in the public domain or in the OGG format. Um, let me give you an example. If I was to go to, I believe it's Wikimedia. Yeah, I think, yeah, right here, Wikimedia. I think that's what I want. Actually, let me go back. I think I want Wikimedia Commons. Wikimedia Commons is what I want. And if you click on that, and you can do a search for something like, oh, I don't know, Apollo. Ah, had a typo. Delete Apollo. And then in here, I probably should add Moon, I suppose. Let me do another search on that. Here we go. And so what we find is you find a lot of, uh, this is uh, public domain content that you can use for whatever you want. Uh, it's basically, you don't have to worry about it, but here's like an AUG. There's a file on there. Uh, here's a, a, a video in the AUG format. So if you click on that, there's the video file. And you can download this file, this OGG video, which is this file right here. And unfortunately, QuickTime 10 does not support, oh, look, it crashed. <laughs> um, it doesn't support the OGG format. So that's a little bit of a minus. However, there is a plugin in QuickTime 7, the old version, that did allow you to play and save into a different format. Because AUG is pretty much kind of like an open source type of format. Linux people love it. So you can download this little QuickTime component. It's the uh, ziff.org. And we'll, again, we'll have a link to this on our astatechies.com episode on QuickTime X. And so you'll be able to find that. Um, but basically, you can come over here, you can download it. Download is really fast. Right there, it's on the desktop, it pops up. And it gives you uh, directions on what to do in here. But I'm going to show you this is the QuickTime plugin. And basically, what you do is you add it to your library folder components. Now, you can do it for just your user or for all users. I'd say go ahead and do it for all users. Let me drag that out of there, go back here, and in the, this library on the hard drive, you can go into components there as well, and you pop it in there. Ta-da! Okay. Now, when you try to go to your movies folder, and uh, there's that AUG video, that Apollo liftoff that I, I downloaded earlier, I can drag that on top of QuickTime 7, and it opens up, and now, this will actually play. And you can see the it's going to blast off here the top part of the lunar lander. There it goes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Little model that I made up. Anyway, um, I can. Stop. <laughs> uh, no, I can't always go uh, save uh, in the QuickTime 7. Um, you have to have QuickTime 7 Pro in order to export, I believe, into uh, a different format um, to, to give you lots of options. And when you do that, you do get all those things you used to always get, those different formats. This brings me to one more thing, is that you can't now export sound to an AIFF file. That's not a feature that... Uh, uh, is in the old version. So it's a little bit harder to try to extract the audio out from the video. Uh, it's not a feature of, of QuickTime 10. So you do want to kind of hang on to that one if you have QuickTime Pro, the older version, to be able to get that out. There are other ways to do that, though. All right. Close that out. So the other things I want to point out about QuickTime, let me go open a, another video here. Take a techies video, drag it in there. Like you can trim. If you click on this little box right here, you can go to trim. And what you can do is you can say, well, I hate watching the credits, so I'm just going to slide this out and get rid of the credits. Or I can say, oh, I just want this one section of the video. And I can slide it, get to the right point, and then I click on trim, and now the video's, that's the end of the video. So you shortened it. You can say trim again, and I want to get rid of the opening part. I hate that techies music. <laughs> And you hit trim, there you go. So you can trim it right in there. You don't have to have a pro version of QuickTime in order to do that. In fact, there is no pro version now with QuickTime 10. There's just one version. But that's an easy way for you to do a little trimming on your video if you want. To, to especially get out that little part like um, where you hit record, and then there's a little 
mess up, you know, or something where you just kind of, you know, the camera jars a little bit or something like that. So you can edit those parts out. One other thing about the plane, let me actually grab a, another video. So, uh, don't save. <laughs> now, I'm going to start doing chapter markers on our videos to make it easier, particularly if it's a longer video. You may have noticed that on the last video that we had for uh, Snow Leopard review, there's a lot of topics in there. Well, when I do that, let me just open up Finder. When I open this up in QuickTime, you'll notice a box. Now, it used to be there was a bar that kind of showed you whatever chapter you were on, it would show you the text, like beginning, chapter two, or chapter three, scene where the person falls off cliff, whatever. Well, now what they have is they have a thumbnail version for the chapters. So here, when I click on that, it gives me a thumbnail version, including the title of whatever I typed in there for the chapter markers. And so this way you can go easily go to the part that you want. So if you want to get to the credits, there you go. All right. Um, and then you click on this again, you can easily get to the chapter, the sections that you want. So if you see one of our episodes and it's, it's like, oh, I don't want to watch all of this stuff, I want to get to the part that I want, well, you can just easily get to that part now. And other videos that have this chapter feature, that might come in handy for you. So it's kind of like a DVD, get right to the scenes that you want. So that's a nice little feature that they did add. The only problem I have with it is that it's a little hidden. You got to know that that's what that is, that that's the chapter marker button. Now, one other thing I want to point out to you is, you used to not be able to record audio or video in QuickTime unless you had QuickTime Pro. Well, now in QuickTime X, you can do a video recording. Um, if you go to the file menu in QuickTime, you can say new movie recording. Now, I don't have a camera hooked up, so it's going to give me an X on that. But I could create a video of myself looking at my little webcam, you know, say a little hi, and then I can easily just post that up to share on Facebook or, or something to send somebody a little greeting, happy birthday greeting or something. But you can also do a file new audio recording. If you just want to record some audio, you can do that. Um, the, uh, there's a new screen recording as well. And the new screen recording allows you to grab a video of whatever happens on the computer screen. You know, like what I do, <laughs> where we have video that, that goes up there. So you can't zoom in on it the way I do because I use a program called ScreenFlow to allow us to do that very easily. But you can now, with the new QuickTime, do a, a video of whatever you've got. So if you can't connect to Grandma's computer, you might be able to create a little video of here's what you would do, and then you can send that video to her in Facebook or something, and then she can try to um, fix that. Uh, or she can make a little video and send you the video and you can look and see what she's doing and have a better understanding of, hmm, what is the problem? So she can create her own little video of whatever's happening on the screen by going into QuickTime and doing that. So that's a handy little, little feature. Um, and you have an opportunity for low quality or high quality. High quality um, makes the file really smooth. The, the medium quality is the lower one. Uh, it's a little jerky in places depending on how much mouse movement that you have on the computer screen. Okay, so it's a nice little feature. Well, there's a lot of new little features in QuickTime. Um, QuickTime 7 is still left installed on your computer. If not, you can do a custom install and get that back in on your computer. So that may be, if you still prefer the older version. Um, for instance, if I wanted to open this up in QuickTime, there's the old version. And there's what I was talking about with the different chapter headings. Where I can go to certain parts of the video that I may want to try to get to. Okay? So. If you have any questions about QuickTime 10 or anything about technology, computers, some little gadget, something that confounds you about this technology world, feel free to drop me a question. Send me an email at questions at and we may just answer your question on camera. Thanks for watching.